The Baki characters are known for being some of the most ripped in all of anime and manga, but how would they do in a bodybuilding competition, not just with the people in our world, but the people in their own world? How would they stack up against one another? Well, in this video, we are gonna figure that out. And as you can see, we've already got a tier list going here, ranking from Mr. Olympia to pro bodybuilder, all the way down to fit and um. And so far, we don't have anyone in the fit and um. And it's gonna be hard, honestly, in this universe to find some that could not be bodybuilders. Let's just be honest. Here. But we're going to be more so asking the question who could be the best bodybuilders? And so far, we've looked at Baki, Doyle, you know, some of these other guys. And Baki so far has taken the cake. He is the best pro bodybuilder, in my opinion, so far. Although these guys come really, really close. And yet, even saying that, I don't think Baki could win Mr. Olympia. I think he would get really, really close, but I don't think he could actually win. So he could be a pro bodybuilder for sure. He's definitely way better than amateur and definitely way better than athletic, even though he does have an athletic kind of aesthetic physique, but I don't think he could actually win. So today we're gonna to be looking at three characters specifically, Kaioyu, Kaku, and Katsumi, who, which I actually spelled that wrong, shh, don't tell anyone. Sorry about that. Um, but I don't know if you guys have ever made a tier list before, but they are a pain to change if you get like one thing wrong, so I'm just gonna keep it in right here. So we're gonna go over these three today. So we're gonna start with Kaioyu. And before we jump into these characters, I wanna review actually what the different bodybuilding divisions are, because obviously someone like Hanayama has a completely different physique to Baki, and on a bodybuilding stage, they would not be comparable. So if you look at these four different categories right here, you have the men's physique division. They're usually the smaller guys on stage. Typically, they wear board shorts, and it's kind of like who has the best absolute jacked beach body. Now, this isn't just a beach body because when you think of beach body, you just think of abs. These guys are absolutely massive and could be bodybuilders. And they are bodybuilders. They're just not some of the bigger guys and, and the legs don't matter quite as much. And then you have the classic physique division like Chris Bumstead here. They wear the posing trunks and do all the classic physique poses and everything. They're usually somewhere in between men's physique and open bodybuilding. And then you have the 212 class and then you have the open bodybuilders, which are the biggest ones. So Haniyama would be in the open bodybuilding division. Baki would be in the more men's physique slash classic physique divisions. So let's look at Kyo Yu here. So we can see that we don't really have any stats for him as far as like height, weight, all that sort of stuff. So we're gonna be just going based on perception of how he looks and everything. So we can see that he actually has a really good physique right here, really great arms. And you know, the manga has some good shots of him where you can see his chest is just absolutely massive. His traps are really good, his shoulders. I mean, his arms look really good. His abs, like, I don't, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Like, uh, you know, I don't know, but I mean, they're definitely popping. It's like a, instead of a six pack, it's like a full keg, but it's like still really ripped, if you know what I mean. So, I mean, he's he's got some good muscle mass. He's got that face, the same face that most Baki characters have. Uh, although it does look a little bit chubbier than most. Most of them are like really sucked in. They have that kind of death face bodybuilding thing going on. Um, but he's still got really strong facial muscles, if that makes sense. So overall, I, I just don't know if we have a lot of stats with this guy. I don't really see a lot from him, but we know he's in absolutely amazing shape and he's got great arms and everything. I think he could probably be in the athletic division right up there with Goki. Uh, he's definitely more than fit. His arms are just too big for that. Uh, he might be able to be amateur bodybuilder division, but I think we just need more shots. So now we're gonna move on to Kaku Kaiyu. This guy is probably in my top three favorite physiques in all of Baki. And of course, we're gonna be talking about the younger version of him. So take a look at this. Damn, if this is not a bodybuilding physique, I don't know what is. This guy has an incredible physique. I mean, not only is he super muscular, but he's also extremely lean and well conditioned, which means you can like see the feathering in his muscles right here. You could see the vascularity. I mean, look at those veins. I mean, that's bigger than most people's muscles. And then on top of this, he's got a, actually like an aesthetic physique for being so big. I mean, take a look. You got the V taper here with the lats that are just like shadowed right there. They're in the shadows. That's incredible. I just, I love this panel right here and I love it in color too. It's so great. But we can even look at some of the older pictures and shots of him. Like, take a look at this. He's just absolutely massive right there. He's like a sumo wrestler that's just 100% ripped with 0% body fat, right? So you've got another one here. It shows his back. Look at the traps going all the way down and look at the lats and just, you know, the rear delts, the shoulders, all this stuff. This guy has the bodybuilding physique. 
I love this physique. I think he could do pretty much whatever he wants in bodybuilding. And look, there's the death face I'm talking about. Just kind of goes in right there. So if you were to imagine him on a bodybuilding stage, you, you could see him doing extremely well. I mean, it would be hard to beat this guy. Even in the Baki universe, when you have all these totally ripped people, it would be hard to beat this guy. I mean, look at the calves even. And we don't get a lot of shots of those quads. They might be just a little bit off, like the calves might be bigger than the quads like some Baki characters have. I mean, his arms are a little weird right here. Uh, and the forearms are a little bit bigger. That's a kind of a Baki thing that we're just gonna run into with pretty much everybody. But other than that, I mean, for this universe especially, dude, Kaku is definitely a Mr. Olympia. If you wanna know what a Mr. Olympia looks like in the Baki universe, look no further than Kaku. Kaku has the best physique in all of Baki that we've seen so far. So let's bring it down just a little bit. We're gonna to go to Katsumi. So Katsumi stands in at six foot one and 255 pounds. That's actually a really good size for a bodybuilder. I would say he would be pretty lean on stage actually, because you could you get like a lot of bodybuilders that are under six foot tall and they're up closer to 300. So he would be pretty lean, but let's actually take a look at his physique. And so there aren't really a whole lot of great shots of him, but from what we can see, just like our first character today, you can see that he has amazing arms and an amazing chest that just really pops out right there. I mean, look at that. These, these are qualities of someone that could probably do bodybuilding and do it pretty pretty well i think he could perform at a pretty high level in bodybuilding and knowing what we know about baki characters we know he's probably pretty ripped under his gi so i'm gonna go ahead and place him just like our first one and at least the athletic category if we had more physique shots of him i definitely probably could be an amateur bodybuilder in fact all three of these guys definitely could be at their prime amateur bodybuilders i'm positive of it but we've got to rank them based on what we can see of them and based on the other baki characters so that's our three characters for today next time we're actually going to be learning a little bit about women's physique and the different divisions in that we're going to be talking about a female character in bodybuilding as you can see and we're going to go all the way to ali jr and we're going to go over jack hama and some of these other guys down here if you're enjoying this series make sure to like and subscribe and if you made it all the way to the end as per usual put a bicep emoji in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.